Hello, and welcome to the prologue to the Guild Wars Factions Let's Play. Before we actually start playing Guild Wars Factions, and we're actually going to start with a character in Cantha, I figured a good place to start would be to actually learn about Master Togo, one of the main characters we're going to learn about in all the factions as we play it. So I figured, let's start with that. So let's learn about Master Togo. His name is Master Togo. This is his tale. His name is Master Togo. This is his tale. On the surface, Togo appears a simple scholar, but his name is hollowed from the great chambers of the Raizu Palace to the smallest shop in Senji's corner. Cups of rice wine are raised in his honor. He is uh, invoked as an exemplar to offices, office, officials and a role model to children. Even the Tengu speak his name in praise. He is regarded as a savior of Kantha. His reputation is well earned, for Togo ended the Tengu Wars. Though Togo was more in his element poring over scrolls and goods, such was not to be. His half-brother, Emperor Kisu of Kantha, requested that he journey with a delegation to Minister Wana's estate on a propitious matter. For years, Kantha's had battled the avian Tengu, a proud, ruthless, and defiant race. As a young man, Togo himself had fought the Tengu and knew them to be intractable foes. Yet, in the face of this mounting conflict, a hope of peace appeared from a surprising quarter. Mona, the Emperor's Minister of War, had long fought the Tengu, so it surprised all that this great warlord contracted the enemy leaders and requested their presence at his estate for a summit. Mona smiled broadly when he heard of Togo's planned attendance. Indeed, the Emperor's half-brother would legitimize Mona's intentions in Tengu eyes, and the stars were clearly aligned for a historical occasion. So on a snowbound day, Togo and the Imperial delegation arrived at the estate in hopes of building a bridge between man and Tengu. Little did he suspect that treachery awaited him in the house of Wona. Oh snap, not tre 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 treachery. The Tengu Accords. So we're we're actually down here. A place that we don't actually get to go in the normal storyline. So yeah, we're just up, up here in these mountains. Alright. We have finally arrived at the house of the War Minister Wona Togo. Look at the view. It is a good view. That was an exhausting trek, was it not? Wona has quite the lofty estate. Do you truly believe Wona will be able to broker peace between Canthans and Tengu? It seems a heroic task, to say the least. I believe it is a task worth undertaking, and command Wona on his good intentions. I sincerely hope that bad blood between Canthans and Tengu can be put aside this day. Togo, it is good to see you have arrived. Minister Mona, along with the rest of the peace delegation, awaits you in the central chamber. All right, all right. Two different types of tangus. The the Ang Chu and the Senselai. I see our final guest has arrived. Welcome to my mountain hideaway, Togo. Please take a moment to introduce yourself to our esteemed Tengu guests. When you're ready to begin the talks, come speak to me. Yeah, I think that's a unique model. But alright. Talon Silverwing. All right, first let's talk to his Swift Honor Claw. The Ang Chu recognized that peace is a better recourse for human and Tengu alike. Should this feud continue, the stench of death will hang heavy in the air. Human corpses will be stacked to the tops of mountains and rival our losses. Do not be fooled. 
peace will be on equal terms or there will be no peace at all. Which outcome do you prefer? Tell me your tell me your views on the Tengu Wars. I love how they're called Tengu Wars and the Tengu are like, yeah, they're called Tengu Wars. Fuck off. <laughs> do, they, do they call it the Human Wars? I mean, <laughs> this war is at the fault of your emperor and his expansionist agenda. The fight was brought to us. If not for your farmers and their reeking crops in our disease invading our homes, there would be no war. What honor is there in burning our hatchlings while they sleep? In slaughtering our childbearers? No, we will not yield. We will fight until the corpse of every last Canthan rots in the morning sun. Peace is the only hope for your species. That's pretty rough. I am Talon Silverwing of the Angchu. We have come to see if you humans truly wish for peace. Honor is our code. If your intentions are true, perhaps we can put this fight behind us. Cross us, and we shall bury you. Tell me your views. Understand me, human. We are a valiant race, and I am not to be trifled with. If you dare terrorize, deceive, or oppress us, we will fight you with every weapon we possess. If you truly have honor in your heart, you will negotiate with us as equals. Here's Talon Silverwing. The thing with him is uh, he becomes a main NPC that we see a lot of in the main Canton story. So this is him here. Now what, what do uh, the Senslai think? Think of us. They're, I don't think they're fans. The Senslai would kill every Canton man, woman, and child before we would surrender. Pick your words carefully, human. Give me an excuse to start with you. It's rough. It's rough. The Senslai Tengu stares you down in silence. He's in a foul mood, obviously. Is that a joke? Because he's a bird. So let me see. I want to look at my abilities real quick. I know Call of the Spirit Realm summons three spirits. So that's your big summon. These do damage, of course. Uh, men, body, and soul. Removes the condition and heals. If this is a spirit within earshot. One condition for each spirit in earshot, okay? It gains 60 energy. You do not sacrifice self if any spirits are within earshot. So use this the moment... Uh, there, so use this, then that. So it should be like the order of operations should be all the spirits get some health, get the spirits, and then AOE damage, do damage, single target damage, single target damage, AOE damage, and then this also gives us energy. You gain any energy if spirits are within earshot. Okay, so I think it should be yeah. I'm just trying to think, and then boom. This is the this when your rage is full, you can use this. Unleash the rage of the Dragon Empire bloodline and deal 300 damage to nearby enemies, and you gain 200 maximum health. That's really good. All right. Pray to your gods this meeting results in peace. Otherwise, the sense lie will erase any existence of your kind. We have brought death upon your kind, human. Keep talking. The longer we drag this out, the more men my breathing will gut with their bare claws. The Yang Chu are fools to think that you can be trusted. No matter, the sense lie will end this war in due time. Now these this is kind of birds. They're, they're, they're foul. Alright. As Minister of War, I have learned there are times to raise your sword and others when you must sheathe it. Today, a new chapter will be written in Canton history. One that reflects a sea change which reflects a sea of change in human and tango relations. It is most fortunate the Emperor sent you as his representative, Togo. Your even temper and diplomatic skills will be pivotal in today's negotiations. When you are ready to begin the summit, please inform me and I shall commence the ceremony. But what's your stance? My stance? The Tengu are filthy animals, not to fit for a stew. They harass my vassals, set fire to my fields, and disrupt trade. They claim that we are invading their sovereign territory as the Empire continues to spread. Bah! As a younger man, I would have ordered the entire race exterminated. But alas, violence is not always the answer. I have learned the value of diplomacy in obtaining harmony and balance. In life, sacrifices must be made for the greater good to accomplish wealth and power. It is in Katha's interest to deal with these savages through other means, which is why I have called the summit. It is my hope that we can reach a common ground on my estate, free from the intrigues of the Imperial Court. All right, well, I guess I'm ready for negotiations. Friends and honored guests, men in Tengu, I ask for your all undivided attention. We have traveled 
uh, a treacherous road to this fateful day. It is my hope that when we are finished here, this matter will finally be behind us. However, after long and careful deliberation, I've decided there can be no peace. That's never good. Through the good of Cantha, you all must die. Well, okay. Seal the doors, let none escape. Bring me Togo's corpse. You guys wanna blow up? You guys wanna freaking go? Cause I'll freaking go. Add a state guard. We get them all? Yes. Oh, no. Oh. Do not expect this. Now they have actual assassins out. My rage is growing. I'm getting very pissed off. <laughs> oh no. Swift. And they destroyed all my spirits. Helen. All right, that's it. Ooh. <laughs> I'm mad. Oh, man. Oof. We have been betrayed this day, but not by Cantha or the Emperor. Minister Wona acts on his own accord for his own selfish gain. Humans are lying murderous. The sense I have been betrayed for the last time. The, Anchu, the Anchu, I see no reason to trust you either, human. You say you have been betrayed? Give way to your words. Something as heavy as Minister Wona's head should suffice. I am a man of my word. Remain here to ensure the minister does not flee the estate. I will pursue this wretch into the recesses of this godforsaken compound. Act 3. The Hunt. Talon Silverwing will accompany you. He will ensure you keep your word. Know this human. If you betray us, your entire race will bear the consequences. Finding the conniving Mr. Wanna and slay him for his betrayal. Alright, so this is where Talon comes with us. So here we're, we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down out in this way. So this is the plan. Alright, we have full rage now, so I'd never be afraid to use it. I think we're good. Alright, let's, let's do this. I'll be watching you, human. Any misstep, and it will be your head I bring back. These guys aren't, these are nothing. Those are basic guards. Uh-oh. Here comes a lot of them. Okay, here we go. So I have this to use. I gotta use that to keep my spirit guys alive. Tal, I gotta, gotta heal up talent. Gotta play a little bit of them. There we go. Very good. Very good. I think we're doing fine. Because we're playing as Master Togo.
Oh, here comes more. Here comes them assassins. Let me see, where do they come? I think, do they come up? Right up here? Or they all go down there? They might just have weird... They might be weird ones, okay? Boom. Lightning! Very good. Alright, then they probably come right after here, so we probably wanna... Probably right here, I imagine? I summon the spirits! All right, go, buddy. All you, man. Leave my spirits alone. You know I ain't lie about that life. There we go. I don't need that, it's kind of pointless. Boom. Boom. So far, it's not... Okay. It smells like assassins. Oh, just a bunch of guards. Charge! Too bad. Got a nuke him, got a nuke him. Nuke him up. Talon. Yo, Talon. Yeah. Look at all these people, though. Togo kills all these people. It's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> Togo's like, you know what? I'll just. It's fine. If this is what you want, I'm a cold blooded killer. I don't care. Look at me. I'm a scholar. I'll kill you. I don't care. Togo's straight thugging. Okay. Yeah, I see they're assassins. Not the best. Ah, oh, it might have been too early. not great. <laughs> We're good. We're fine. We're good. We're good. Oh boy. We're good. <laughs> okay. So far so good. It's getting a little creepy, but we're doing alright. We're doing alright. Need you to heal up, Talon. Do you not have like an out of out of combat heal? Did I do everything myself? Okay. Just one more group of assassins. <laughs> oh man, the music is just like dun 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 dun. Okay, I don't think it'll be too hard. I think we can handle it. They hired a bunch of fucking assassins though. Can we just talk about that? Get blown up. Very good. Talon. Remove your bleeding, heal you up. Perfect. Let's go, Talon. You already the hand? Oh.
Ooh, I like that mask. Yuri Yamanashi. Yuri the Hand, age 31. Hey, I'm 31. Minister One is personal assassin. Credo, move like the wind, strike like thunder. You. I like, his, I like that skin, too. Man, that looks cool. Greetings, Togo. I am Yuri the, Yuri the Hand. The Minister of War's instrument. I shall make this quick. A fitting end to a half-blood spawn of a neotherapist. Nep nepotist. I shall take pleasure in slitting your throat. Your prediction was correct, Yuri. You made this a quick fight. You amuse me, featherless one. Well said. Act four, the master. Oh, another cinematic. This whole thing set up like a Kill Bill Samurai movie. Ryo Yamaguchi, aka Master Ryu, age 63, elite guard trainer, credo, live by honor, die with dignity. I like his hat. Can I have his hat? Oh, it's a cool hat. I am Master Ryu, the name may sound familiar. Togo, the emperor, is a good friend of mine. It is with deep regret that I must fight you. To shrink my responsibilities would dishonor my family and disgrace my students. The Minister of War has ordered your death. Okay, I'm gonna just don't mind me real quick. Drop one of these bad boys on you. Talon! Oh no. Then yeah, you see, then you just keep spamming these three abilities. You should be, in theory, completely fine. Boom. You have fought with honor, Master Ryu. You shall have a hero's burial. Oh, you killed him. No. You're starting to behave like a Tengu Togo. Keep this up, and I may take your rambling seriously. Act 5. Revenge. Oh, God. There's a bunch of... Boy. Sunpu Suramaka, Captain Sunpu, age 27, the elite guard captain. Mercy is for the weak. Wona Yagiri, War Master Wona, age 44, Canton Minister of War. I am the fists of the Empire. go. Ugh, got him. Captain Sun Pu, these two should give you little trouble. Deal with them. My pleasure, minister. Captain Sun Pu, show us what you what you've got. What do you got, Sun Poo? I'll uh, save that. I don't think we need that yet. Okay. 
Why all of this, Wona? Peace was in our grasp. I am the Minister of War, Togo. When Kantha fights, my coffers overflow. I have no use for peace, especially with inhuman savages. Blaming your death on the Tengu will drive the Emperor mad with grief. He will declare complete and utter retribution. Kantha's riches will be my, my disposal, and the Tengu land shall be mine once I have removed them from it. Airy will make a lovely summer retreat, do you not think so? Talon, have you heard enough? I believe you know by now who is behind this madness. Let us finish this. Perhaps the minister will talk less with the hands. Alright. I'm not sure how the fight works. Talon, 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 Talon! <laughs> Talon, 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 Talon! Yeah, I got him. We did it. We kept Talon alive for the final fight. It is said that battle breeds brothers. And so the struggle against Wona's assassins unified the two races. The Tengu saw the valor in Togo's heart. <laughs> Some of them, anyway. And while not all of them listened to his counsel, enough trusted Master Togo to be their champion, to end the war between man and Tengu, and bring peace at last to Kantha. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh yeah, and it's Halloween. But yeah, story complete. Now you know the story of Master Togo. In the next episode, we'll actually start our character creation and create our character to begin in Kantha. So I'll catch you then. Now you know the story. Stay super and see you in the next one.